Hey family, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday guys, happy Sunday. I am out and about running into the store here at the mall, but I wanted to say um, some things to you. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Nate, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, I give it to you. And if that's the type of content that you like, hit that subscribe button and join the chosen generation family we would love to have you yes 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 well guys i want to talk to you about um just being single the singleness of being single and then the holy spirit was dealing with me about a lot of people are dealing with loneliness a lot of loneliness going on right now people even in their marriages are dealing with situations of really really feeling lonely and feeling like they're they don't have anyone to really turn to and they're not they don't feel happy they know God but they feel as though there's something that's missing in their life um, sometimes you know um, the enemy will use whatever he can use those tactics to come against your mind and to make you feel like you don't have anyone in your corner but you do you have the Lord you know in the midst of everything that you're going through just know that God is working on your behalf he's working for you um, I just wanted to come on and encourage you because I know a lot of people even with the pandemic have been dealing with a lot of loneliness people have been dealing with just feeling like they don't have anyone to really go to or talk to um, and it has affected them to the point where they're still you know in in their homes or some of them haven't even come out to work because of the pandemic um but god is saying that he wants to free you from that loneliness he wants to free you and how can he free you he can free you by you taking time out for him drawing closer to him allow yourself to get busy with the things of god and you will notice that that will dissipate it will disappear those feelings of loneliness will disappear I remember my children leaving my home and I was like, oh my gosh, this felt so weird. It felt so awkward, you know, because I wasn't used to being by myself. And especially when I went through my divorce, it was very, very hard, very difficult. But God had to really, really deal with me in that area of spend time with me, get to know me more, get to know yourself more, who you are as a person. And as you do that, I'm breaking that spirit of loneliness you know God is with us all the time he's constantly speaking to us all the time you may say well I don't hear him if you really really get into a quiet place you will begin to hear him he speaks to us all the time he's always with us he's always speaking to us so when you get a chance get into a quiet place and really really listen to the Holy Spirit he will begin to speak to you he'll begin to uh, commune with you you commune with him and it's going to be a beautiful beautiful experience i promise you um, i didn't think that i would ever get over that feeling of emptiness that feeling of loneliness you know um i always felt like i had to have someone a friend girlfriend someone to talk to you know and i do have people that i talk to now but i'm saying that took time for me to be able to spend time with myself to get to know who i was as a person in this single life you know and the same thing with you even if you're married and you feel like well you know what I do have a husband, but I feel like there's something missing. God is saying he wants to fulfill that area and complete that area in you so that you guys can come together and be able to feel complete. You know, you should still feel that completeness, whether you're married or not. You still shouldn't feel that spirit of emptiness like that because um, it, you want to think to yourself, well, maybe it's something that I'm lacking. Maybe it's something within me, you know, maybe I need to draw closer to God because uh, when you draw closer to God, all that leaves you. You don't have time to be thinking about this one, that one, or the other. You know, people are fickle. People will change on you. But the one thing about God, he never changes. He's always the same. He never, never changes. He's always right there for us. I love you guys. Be encouraged. I just wanted to come on real quick. Like I said, I'm out here at the store, at the mall, and I wanted to come on real quick on this Sunday and tell you, be encouraged if you are by yourself, be encouraged god is with you god is working for you behind the scenes i don't know if you guys see my video yesterday but 
I did get on my video and I was talking about how God said he's shifting things. He's shifting some things in the spirit room very quickly. That he's making changes for his people. So I just wanted to come on and encourage you to know that those that are seeking God, those that are really, really crying out to God, he's, he's answering your prayers. It's going to be quick. It's going to be real, real quick. So just know without a shadow of a doubt that it's going to be very, very, very quick for you. Amen. So be encouraged. He has not forgotten you. Just stay focused. Draw closer to him. Get into his word. And remember to spend that quiet time so you can hear his voice. He'll begin to speak to you. And you'll begin to hear him give you direction for your life. I love you guys. Be encouraged. If it is your first time here, hit that subscribe button and like this video. I would love to have you as a part of the Chosen Generation family. I love you guys. I'll talk to you real soon. God bless you.